IUD stands for intrauterine device. It's a tiny T-shaped device that a doctor inserts into your uterus to prevent pregnancy. There are a few myths you need to be aware of. It's a myth that IUDs can hurt your fertility. Countless studies have disproved this myth and the data is totally conclusive. Women using an IUD have no increased risk of pelvic infection or infertility compared with women who used other types of birth control. Women who use an IUD can get pregnant later just as quickly as women who use other methods and they are safe for women of any age. It's a myth that IUDs can cause infections in your uterus. IUDs got a bad rap back in the 1970s. This is because of one specific brand that was poorly designed. These days, the IUDs available have been studied extensively and have definitively proven that modern IUDs do not cause pelvic infection. It's a myth you shouldn't get an IUD until after you've had kids. IUDs don't affect your fertility, so there is no reason to wait to get one until after you've had children. There's no minimum requirement for how long it has to stay in. If you decide you want to try to get pregnant, you can have an IUD removed at any time. It's a myth that getting an IUD is very painful. Pain is subjective, and IUD insertion pain varies a lot from person to person. Some women, especially if they've had a baby, find IUD insertion no more uncomfortable than a pap smear. Others, especially if they haven't been pregnant or have a history of very painful periods, can have very strong cramps during and after the insertion. Part of what can make an IUD insertion uncomfortable is opening the cervix when it is closed. It can feel a lot like a strong menstrual cramp. Schedule the IUD insertion when your cervix is naturally a little open. This happens twice during each menstrual cycle, during your period and during ovulation. It's a myth that your partner will be able to feel the IUD during sex. The IUD is a T-shaped device that sits entirely in the uterus. If any part of the IUD itself can be felt, then it is not incorrectly and should be removed as soon as possible. If it's not incorrectly, it's not preventing you from getting pregnant. The only part that exits through the cervix is the string. The string is there for two reasons. A, to make removal a cinch, and B, to let you and your gynecologist know it's still in the right spot.